Hi there! In this video, I'm going to help you set up your undated weekly and daily Passion Planner digital. I'll go over how to download your files onto your device, importing your planner into your app of choice, how to click on hyperlinks or the tabs in your planner, I'll run through how the planner is set up, how to add pages in your planner, how to use the stickers that came with your planner, and more. Feel free to skip through the timestamps to get to a particular section of the video and adjust the speed as needed. Our digital planners are PDF templates that you import into the PDF editing app of your choice, otherwise known as note-taking apps, or you can then write in it and add things like photos and stickers to it. I'll be demonstrating on the iPad in the app GoodNotes as this is the most popular way to use digital planners, but any note-taking app or app that allows you to edit PDF files and activate the hyperlinks throughout the planner will do. To prepare, make sure you have your Files app and GoodNotes already installed onto your iPad. But first, let's download your files onto your device. First, you'll click the download link in your email, which will lead you to this page here. Now, this is important, so pay attention. You have five downloads available. Click Download once and your file will automatically download into your Downloads folder in your Files app. I say this because a lot of the times people don't see anything pop up to tell them that their file is downloading and so they end up clicking through all of their five downloads. Okay, now with your files app opened up to your download, this is a really important step and you won't be able to access any of your files without first doing this. So no matter what app or device you're using, you need to first unzip your downloaded folder in order to access its content. So on your iPad, you're going to tap on the downloaded zip file or long press on it and click uncompress. Now opening up the folder, there is a very helpful readme file with directions on how to set up all of the files that come with your download if you want to check it out here. All right, now let's start off with setting up your planner. So we have simplified this process. So all you need to do now is tap on your planner file, tap the share icon, then scroll down to open in GoodNotes. If GoodNotes or your app isn't listed here, you can always swipe over to more to find your app here. Alternatively, you can always open up your note-taking app and use their import file tool. Feel free to check out our digital guide page at the beginning of your planner if you ever need more info on how it's set up. There are a ton of frequently asked questions here if you ever feel lost or confused. Let's talk about navigating through your planner. So you can swipe or scroll through the pages of your planner, but the easiest way to navigate through it is to click on the hyperlinks or tabs in your planner. To click on these in GoodNotes, you'll need to make sure you're in read only mode by tapping on this icon here. You're basically turning off editing mode. If you're using an older version of GoodNotes, you might find this icon in the right hand corner here. If you're using an app other than GoodNotes, you'll need to find out that app's specific way of turning on read-only mode. It could be a hand or a cursor, or sometimes you can just tap on the links themselves with your finger. This tab will take you to our index page. Try not to get overwhelmed though. This is just a space where you can find all of the different sections and pages throughout the planner and navigate to them because these are all hyperlinked. You can click on the tabs on the right side of your planner to navigate to each monthly calendar layout. We now have quick links here to your roadmap and vision board so you can easily revisit your goals that you planned at the beginning of the planner. Within each month, there's one weekly layout template and one daily layout template for you to duplicate as needed, which I'll explain a little bit further in a second. On each weekly layout, you can click this back to month button to go back to the monthly layout and the back to week button on the daily layout. There are now new icons that appear on the monthly, weekly, and daily layouts for quick access to goals, wellness, and reflection pages for each month. If you're feeling overwhelmed, don't worry about it. Just remember that whenever you feel lost, just click on the month tab to get to that month and then navigate to the week or day that you're on. I typically just bookmark the month, week, and day that I'm working in so I can always access them through the bookmarks bar. Okay, so how the undated planner works is you'll notice there are monthly labels on the tabs on the right side here, but you can basically start and stop whenever you want. These are just here so it's easier to organize and navigate through the planner. There are other undated planners where you kind of just duplicate pages and paste all of them together, but we found that it can then be difficult to find which page you're on. 
This way I could always start in September and then pick it back up in December if I wanted to. I just navigate to those tabs, but it still makes it so that I'm really just duplicating the pages that I need to use. When you click on these tabs, they'll take you to that month's overview, which is blank. And then as I mentioned earlier, you then have one blank weekly overview template and then one blank daily overview template for you to then duplicate and move around as needed. Okay, so I keep talking about duplicating pages, so let's talk about adding pages to your planner. In GoodNotes, you can easily click on the plus icon here and then select current template to quickly duplicate the page you're currently on. Or you can click the three dots in the corner here, click copy page, then navigate to wherever you want to paste the page in your planner, click the plus symbol, click paste page, and it'll paste itself after the page you're currently on. So for example, it's September right now for me, and I wanna plan out my day. I would go to my September tab, duplicate the daily layout, and start planning it. The next day though, let's say I want to plan out my week. I'd copy the weekly layout template, then navigate to the end of this month's layouts and paste it there to plan in it. A little trick though, so you can swipe to the end of all of your pasted pages within the month, but what I like to do is I just click on the next month tab and I swipe back because that will be the last page that I worked on. We now have a quarterly overview tab. So here you can find your quarterly goals and habits along with the goals, wellness, and reflection pages I mentioned earlier. You can click this tab here to get to our new template index. We now have 45 different templates for you to organize different facets of your life like lifestyle, wellness, health, productivity, and finances. These templates are here for you to duplicate as many times as you like and move throughout your planner as needed. Another new feature is our sections divider. So I like to think of these as dividers in a binder so that I can organize different parts of my life here and paste templates or whatever I want really into these sections. For example, I like to have a section for scrapbooking. So I would navigate to the template that I want to insert there, copy that page, navigate back to my section and paste it right there. I can always find this section then by navigating back to my sections divider or through my index page. All right, the last tabs at the bottom here are for the new add to calendar or reminder shortcuts. If you're using an Apple device, first navigate to the Passion Planner digital guide page to set this up. There are instructions here and you need to first add this shortcut to your Apple device. So go to your settings app, go down to shortcuts, or if you have the new iPad OS 18, you would go down to apps and then shortcuts, then enable private sharing. You can always disable this after installation. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on this button to download your shortcut. It'll ask you which app you'd like to use, so make sure to select GoodNotes or whichever app you're using your planner in. So let's say I'm planning out my week and I don't wanna forget a task or an event. I can click on this tab in read-only mode, click yes, and then click add reminder or add event. If you want to open up your Google Calendar, you can click on this tab no matter which device or app that you're using. It'll either open up Google Calendar in your internet browser or the app itself if you have that downloaded. Next, you can now change your planner covers. So in your downloaded folder, you have 34 different planner covers to choose from. 30 are from previously released covers. And then we have four exclusive digital ones. When you see a cover you'd like to use, tap the share icon and then click copy. And then going back into your note-taking app, go ahead and use your lasso or photo tool to paste and resize it over the existing cover. You can also do the same for the back cover as well. Alternatively, you can select all of the covers, click share, and then save them as images for you to add as photos into your planner. Okay, lastly, let's talk stickers. So let's open up the stickers folder. If you're a GoodNotes user, you'll open up this folder and for any non-GoodNotes user, you'll open up this one. 
With your planner, you get our digital icons and stickers pack full of icons, health and fitness trackers, and finance stickers. Okay, so these are preview sheets. In order to use these stickers in GoodNotes, you need to import these dot collection files directly into the elements tool in GoodNotes. To do that, tap on the dot collection file, tap the share icon, and click GoodNotes, not open in GoodNotes. Then tap create. Or with GoodNotes already opened up, you can just tap the Elements tool, tap anywhere on the page, swipe left and click on this plus button. Then import from and navigate to that dot collection file. So now whenever you want to insert those stickers, you can just do so by using the Elements tool. You can repeat this with the rest of the dot collection files. The exclusive 2025 digital sticker pack features a ton of stickers so you can customize your digital planner with things like different headers to use or if you like to start and end your day at different times then our default ones you can do so with these. There are also time blocking stickers and these really cool scrapbook style stickers. For any non-GoodNotes users, you can access all of our stickers as PNG files. These are basically photos. So you can preview the sticker packs here. And then when you want to use a sticker, just tap on it, tap the share icon, and then copy and paste it into your planner. Personally for this, I like to use the drag and drop method. So first you would open up split view mode by clicking these three dots at the top here and opening up your planner in your note-taking app. Then you can just long press and then drag and drop stickers straight into your planner. Okay, so that wraps up how to set up your Passion Planner digital files. We hope you found that helpful. Make sure to click subscribe and feel free to leave any questions or comments below.